what's up sun727 and as you can see I have a Rubik's cube so I'm probably go I'm gonna teach you guys how to solve it but first I gotta teach you guys some move notations that I learned so if I'm going a little bit slow uh, don't hate because I just learned how to do this yesterday so bear with me alright so for you guys the face towards you which is green for mine would be would be front front so when I say front you move it clockwise if I say front inverted you guys move it counterclockwise and then same goes with the right 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 inverted left left inverted left bottom bottom inverted up up inverted alright so now I'm gonna show you how to solve it but first we gotta mix it up obviously so you know I'll just get my sister to do it so bear with me guys while my sister mixes up the cube it's it's not that hard to learn there's many ways of cheating you can I guess take out each block individually and put them back but it's not as impressive as solving it in front of your friends which I'm gonna show you so I would recommend getting a piece of paper and a pencil to memorize these move notations write them down what they're used for just so you guys won't get mixed up and you guys can practice alright so now we got our cube mixed up alright so for beginners I like to start with the green side because obviously I'm still a beginner so green side what you're gonna do is you're gonna find this cross see this cross this cross so what we're gonna do to find a cross is, is you're gonna look for first you're gonna look for the red green and white or the red and green I guess which is so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find it found it right camera's messed up so right here if you can see it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it right under the red and then you're just gonna flip it right up and there you go on your green side and see it's proper so you're gonna do that for everyone so you're gonna find the orange then you're gonna come across something like this get it into the right spot put it up but these are switched this is where your first move notation comes in so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do front inverted up left inverted up inverted and see that puts it proper and see if you look, you didn't mess up any of the other sides, and you're still good. Alright, so now we got the first line of the cross. Okay, so now I'm gonna find, I found the yellow, right here. There's the yellow. I'm gonna put it, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna put it right under the yellow, and I'm gonna flip it up, and then there you go got that so now we're gonna go on a hunt for the white and look look at it. that's where it is it's right under the white perfect flip it right up got it so now that we have that we have our cross now to solve the first side you're obviously gonna need these four pieces to find those four pieces you gotta get them directly under so in your guys case you guys 
have it under. You can have it under, but first you gotta find the sides. So this side and this side would be the green, yellow, and red side would go right here. So we're gonna find that. Green, yellow, and red. So here it is. Now we're gonna get it right under. See? That's where it is. See? Green, yellow, red. So now that you have it, here's your next algorithm. It is right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And you do it a number of times until you get it lined up. So right inverted, down inverted, right, down. 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 And there you go, see? These two line up in the proper place. So, we got that into the proper place, but as you can see here, this one isn't in the proper place because it's orange. So now we're going to go find the green, orange, and yellow spot. And, uh, and then we're going to put it right underneath, as you can see here. Here it is. And then we're going to do our algorithm. So right inverted, down inverted, right, down. 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 There you go. Got that into the proper place. We got the yellow in the proper place. And now we got a we're going to find the red, white, and green, which is right here in the spot it's exactly supposed to be. So now we're going to do our algorithm, algorithm, right, inverted, down inverted, right, down, right 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 inverted, down inverted, right, down. Bam. There it is. Got a perfect line here, and we got a perfect line here. But now we gotta find the whites and the red. I mean the orange, sorry. So now we have the orange, green, and white right where it's supposed to be. Right here. Let's do our algorithm again. Sometimes you only have to do it once. Like in my case, I only did it once. And now, there is your first step of getting the Rubik's Cube completed. Alright. So if you want to keep learning, you guys are going to probably have to go to my second video because as you can see, I'm probably already at 8 minutes, so I don't really want to go past 9. So if you guys want to keep learning, subscribe and watch my other video. Thanks guys. We'll be back.